When I'm coaching women who need help with being heard or being seen, I really talk to them a lot about posture, about tone, about self-confidence and how to project that. It's easier for women who are used to owning the room and taking up a lot of space, both physically and with their voices and their personalities. It's a lot harder for women who may be more petite, who may have soft voices, who perhaps grew up in an environment where they had people around them who were very loud and boisterous, and so they learned that being quiet was the way to, to get along and, and go along. And we really have to have someone who will give us that honest feedback. A lot of times videotaping helps because you get a chance to see how you come across to somebody else. But simple things, and there are lots of suggestions out there for, you know, how to just take up more space in the room, you know, spread out at the table. Of course, you have to wear the right pants to be able to do that. But, um, you know, just feeling, feeling more self-confident in ways that you can do that that will bolster your ability to step up and speak up. And you really have to practice it a lot. So if you're a quiet person, small person, soft-spoken person by nature, it is going to be harder for you to do. But it is something that's going to be necessary for you to be heard. If you watch women who are on television, uh, who are running for political office, who are successful female executives, they are very good at this. And a lot of them have people who coach them specifically around that. There are people who are presentation coaches who can help you identify ways to be more effective. And I would encourage every woman to take some time, invest in yourself, invest in your career, and get better at that.